Have you recently purchased a Cricut machine to up your crafting game? You wanna make some t-shirts, you wanna make some signs, you wanna make gifts and things to sell, but to get it all set up, you open up Design Space and you realize that some of the images on Design Space cost money. I'm gonna share with you today how to use the Cricut machine for free, how to upload your own fonts and your own images to get unique and beautiful projects without paying a monthly fee or a per image fee. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIY mommy.com. Let's get started. First of all, are you new to Cricut cutting machines? Check out this video right here to learn all about the Cricut and how to use it. And then if you want to learn how to set it up from start to finish, I have a full video from unboxing to getting the Cricut working right here. Click on that. The following instructions are going to work for all the current Cricut models, Cricut Maker, Cricut Explore Air 2, Cricut Joy, the Explore Air 3, and the Maker 3 cutting machines. To begin uploading images to Cricut Design Space so you can create projects without making purchases, follow these simple steps. Number one, open up the Cricut Design Space app on your desktop computer or your mobile device. If you're new to Design Space, I also have a video on that, so click right here. Next, click on the New Project button on the top right of the screen. Then click on the Upload button on the bottom left of the screen. Click on the Upload Image button in the center of the screen, click Browse, and then navigate through your computer's or your smart device's folders to find the file you want to upload. I like to use JPEG or PNG files for this. You can also upload what are called SVG files, which can be used right away. Click on your file and then select the image type simple, moderately complex, or complex. And Design Space is gonna walk you through exactly what each of these types mean. Then click continue and remove the background of the image manually or with Cricut's automatic background removal feature. You can also crop any unwanted sections of the image on this screen. Next, click apply and continue and then choose if you want the image to be a cut image, which is when the Cricut will cut the lines, or if you want it to be a print then cut image, where you will print the design on a printer and then cut out the lines with your Cricut. Usually I'm creating cut images. Then click upload and your image will appear in your recent uploads folder. Finally, to insert your uploaded image into your new project, click on the image and then click add to canvas on the bottom right of the screen. There are a variety of places to find free images to bring into Cricut Design Space. Just make sure that you're able to legally use them for your project. Just check out the usages and rights for each image, especially if you're planning to sell your finished piece. In the description box below, I'm going to leave some of my favorite resources to find free images for Cricut. Some more tips for importing images into Design Space. Number one, SVG files are the easiest because they scale nicely and they're totally ready to go. No background removal required. Secondly, images with a lot of clear contrast always work best. And finally, so do images that are simplistic in shape. Complex images can be difficult to cut with Cricut. You can also design and create your very own images in your favorite design program. You could also draw something, scan it, save it to your computer digitally, save it as either a JPEG, PNG, or SVG file, and then import it the same way as you would a downloaded image. Now let's talk about how to upload fonts to Cricut Design Space. Cricut does have some simple free fonts available, but it's always fun to try different fonts for different craft projects. To begin uploading fonts to Cricut Design Space, first download the desired font you want to your computer. I have a lot of free font resources that I love, including defont.com, 1001 free fonts. I will link these down in the description box below. Next, install your font on your computer and just Google how to install a font on PC if you have a PC and how to install on Mac if you have a Mac. Next, open up the Cricut Design Space app and click on the new project button on the top right of the screen. 
Then click on the text tool on the left hand side of the screen. Then type the word or phrase you'd like and click on the font drop down menu at the top left of the screen. Finally, click on system fonts at the top and then the menu should display all of the fonts you have installed on your computer, including the new font that you just installed. If it doesn't, simply close Cricut Design Space and open it up again. Click on the desired font you want to use and type away. Some tips on importing fonts into Design Space. Just like images, the simpler the better when it comes to fonts that work well for cutting. When using script or handwriting fonts, you might need to ungroup your letters and move them around to achieve the look you want. When you're ready to cut your design, create a copy of your word, hide the first copy, select all the letters of the new copy, and then click attach to make the word become all one image to cut. Finally, how can you find free images in Cricut Design Space? Yes, Cricut does offer free images in the Cricut Image Library in Design Space. To find these, click on the image menu and then click the free filter when searching for an image. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found this info helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever uploaded your own images or fonts to Cricut and use them. If you have any tips and tricks for the rest of us that use Cricut, I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.